Let's talk about one of the most important and interesting future that's laser. Laser is a device that emits light through a process of optical amplification based on the stimulated emission of electromagnetic radiation. The light emitted from an ordinary light source is incoherent because the radiation emitted from different atoms has no definite phase relationship with each other. We will talk about laser spectrum. This is the source spectrum and this is interferogram. Spectrum and interferogram of a monochromatic source is shown here. If you talk about the laser beam characteristics, it is monochromatic, a single color, it is coherent with the waves all exactly in phase with one another. It won't get diverged at all, it is extremely intense. If we talk about the spontaneous and stimulated emission, an atom may undergo transition between two energy states E1 and E2. If it emits or absorbs a photon of the appropriate energy, E2 minus E1 is equal to H nu. In a system of thermal equilibrium, the number of atoms in the ground state is greater than the number of atoms in the excited state N2. And this is called a normal population. Consider a sample of free electrons, some of which are in the ground state with energy E1 and some in the excited state with energy E2. If photons of energy H nu is equal to E2 minus E1 are incident on the sample, the photon can interact with the atoms in the ground state and it will take it to the excited state. And this is referred to as your stimulated emission. Sorry, it's absorption. So, using a photon of energy H nu to take an atom to the next level is called stimulated induced absorption. The process by which the atoms in the ground state is taken to the excited state is known as pumping. If the atoms are taken to the higher energy levels with the help of light, it is called optical pumping. If the atoms in the ground state are pumped to the excited state by means of external agency, the number of atoms in the excited state is greater than the number of atoms in the ground state. You can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1, 2, 3. This is called population inversion. The lifetime of the atoms in the excited state is normally 10 power minus 8 second. Some of the excited energy levels have greater lifetimes for atoms 10 power minus 3 second. Such energy levels are called metastable states. Now, if the excited energy level is an ordinary level, the excited atoms are written to the lower or ground energy state immediately without any help of external agency and H nu photon of energy is emitted. This is called a spontaneous emission. Previously we have seen about absorption, this one is absorption, this one is emission. If the excited state is a metastable state, the atoms stay for some time in this level the atom in such metastable state can be brought to the lower energy levels with the help of photons of energy H nu. During the process of providing a photon of energy to move, this is I'm talking about emission from top level from here, it will come back to here with the help of photons of energy H nu, E2 minus E1. This is known as stimulated emission.
We are able to see the simulated emission here. A photon produced by stimulated emission is called secondary photon or stimulated photon. The secondary photon is always in phase with this stimulating photon. So this is a stimulating photon which bring the atoms from top to bottom. The electrons. These photons in turn stimulate the emission further and the process continues to form a chain reaction. This is called a laser action and by this action all the emitter photons having same energy and same frequency and in phase with each other. Hence a highly monochromatic perfectly coherent intense radiation is obtained in laser. If we talk about the conditions to achieve laser action there must be an inverted population so that there should be more atoms in the excited state than in the ground state and the excited state must be a stable state. The emitted photons must stimulate further emission. This is achieved by the use of the reflecting mirrors at the end of the system. This is the major condition to achieve laser action.